That's my last touch is painted on the wall. The Duke of Ferrara says to the stranger, messenger of the count, that the picture of his last touch is, uh, is painted on the wall. Duchess refers to the wife of the Duke. The text is taken from my last touches by Robert Browning. Looking as if she were alive, I call that piece a wonder now. She looked as if she were alive. The picture is lively. It is a wonderful piece of art. Trap and Doll's hands worked busily a day. Trap and Doll's designs it. Trap and Doll designs the portrait of the last touches. And there she stands. The last touches stands in the picture. Will it please sit? You sit and look at her. The do you request the messenger if he would sit and look at the portrait of the duchess? I said from and by design for never read strangers like you that picture countenance. He tells the stranger to like the deep passionate glance. Passionate glance of the duchess in the portrait. He tells the passenger to like the portrait, but to myself he turned since Anan puts by the curtain I have drawn for you, but I and seemed as they would ask me. Every stranger asks how there came such joy, if they dare to ask. So not the first are you turned and asks thus. The Duke replies that she shows her glance not only to her husband but also to everybody. She sees the spot of joy into the Duchess's cheek. Every stranger asks how there came such joy, if they dare to ask. She smiles at her husband mildly. She smiles at everybody equally. The Duke replies that she shows her glance not only to the to her husband but also to everybody. She sees the spot of joy into the Duchess's cheek. Must never hope to reproduce the faint half flowers. Her portrait shows beauty that is still on her throat in the picture after her death. Frappenol chance to see her mental lapse over her. My ladies, it is too much or faint. Her flap and up chance to say that her mental lapse over her wrist very much. Her portrait shows beauty that is still on her throat in the picture after her death. She dies but her beauty never dies in the portrait. Such stuff was courtesy, she thought, and caused enough for falling up that spot of joy she had a heart. How shall I say? Too soon made glad, too easily impressed. She liked whatever she looked on, and her looks went everywhere. Randolph hopes to represent her beauty. She had a beautiful heart. She made everybody glad. It is a matter of courtesy. She has generosity, mohoto. She has simplicity. She has a beautiful heart. She makes everybody glad. She impresses everyone. एक टी सुंदर श्रीजाई चिलो तिनी सवाई के खुशी करते पारते न ये बांग सवाई के तिनी मुग्ध करते पारते न। She likes everything. She likes what he has. She looks on. It is all one. The Duke favors her. The Duke favors the last touches. Sir, it swell was all. My favor at her breast, the drooping of the daylight in the west, the bow of cherry, some of officious full broke in the orchard for her. The white mule she rode with round the terrace, all and each. Her beauty is like the drooping of the daylight in the west, the broken branch cherries in the fruit garden. Sir, it was all my fever at her breast. Her beauty is like the dropping of the daylight in the west, in the branch of cherries broken by the officious pools in the fruit garden. Her riding ability on the white 
offspring of horse as around the terrace would draw from her alike the approving speech or blush at least she thanked men good but thanked somehow i know not how as if she ranked my gift of a 900 years old name with anybody's gift she considers everyone favorably samarthan karen she presents her blush आरक्तिम भाव एट एवरी वन सी थैंक मेन हू प्रेज हार ब्यूटी इट इज गुड द ड्यू डज नट नो हाउ सी थैंक्स हाउ सी प्लीजेस एवरी वन एवरी बडी द ड्यू डज नट नो एज इफ सी रैंकड माइ गिफ्ट अफ ए नाइन हंड्रेड इयार्स ओल्ड नेम उथ एनी बडिज गिफ्ट If she, she treated with equal dignity between the gift of a 900 years old name given by the duke and anybody's gift, tini 900 bochor er purono gift keo je marjada dekhen, onner upohar keo sei eki marjada dekhen. Ete duke er mone ekta ragannito bhav hoychilo. Who would stoop to blame this sort of trifling? She treated with equal dignity between the gift of 900 years old name, name given by the duke and anybody's gift. Nobody agrees to tolerate such trifling matter. Everybody would blame her. The duke would not stoop to her to forgive. She blames her for her behavior conduct. Even had you skill in speech, which I have not, to make you will. quite clear to such an one and say just this or that in you disgust me here you miss or they are exceed the mark if the messenger had skill in speech to appreciate her the portrait he did not know but the duke shows disgusting attitude to her she crossed the limit of tolerance and if she let herself be lesson so nor plainly said her wits to yours for should and made excuse even then would be some stooping and i choose never stoop if she wants to learn some lesson she must plainly gain knowledge from the duke she presents her wits she makes excuse for her conduct then the duke would stoop to forgive her she choose not to stoop or forgive oh sir she smiled no doubt whenever she i passed her but who passed without must the same smile undoubtedly she smiled whenever the duke passed her but she smiled at everyone whenever they passed her anybody passed her this grew i gave comments then all smiles stopped together then she stands as if alive her habit of smiling grew then the duke gave comments to the last duchess she died under suspicion her smile stopped her life stopped then as a portrait she stands on the wall in the picture as if she were alive will it please you rise will sell meet the company below then i repeat the count your masters known munificence is ample warrant that no just pretence of mine for dowry will be disallowed though his fair daughter self as i abode at starting is my object the duke requested the messenger to go down stairs to meet the other strangers he repeatedly told the passenger messenger that the count must consider the dowry with equal dignity of the Duke for his daughter self it is ample warrant that he should not pretend in case of dowry the count is familiar for his munificence he declared truly avowed that he expects right gestures of life from his future duchess he ironically says to the count's messenger about the dowry ne we shall go together down sir notice neptune do taming a sea horse thought a rarity which claws of inspar cast in bronze for me 
Now they will go together downstairs. The Duke tells the messenger to notice Neptune taming a seahorse. It is a rare piece of art. It is made of bronze. It is made by Claus of Inspar for the Duke. Seahorse refers to woman class. The Duke wants to tame his future Duchess as Tempchun tames seahorse. Duke tar bhubishyat Duchess ke bose rakhte chan thik jemon jebhabe Neptune bose rekhechen tar sindhu hotok ke.